Assalamu alaikum and hello to everybody. So students, I hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome back with another video. So in this video, we're going to be learning about conjunctions and connectives and the actual difference between the conjunctions and connectives. And we're also going to learn about discourse markers in English and how to use them, where exactly to use them and what do they actually mean. So just for your information, uh, this video I'm making for my school students, all right? Uh, but of course, everyone can watch this video. It's a very general, it's going to be a very general video about uh, uh, conjunctions and connectives. What is the difference between them, them and about discourse markers? But this is a clear message to my students from school that uh, discourse markers are not going to be the part of our curriculum or our exams or anything like that. But however, uh, I think, you know, as you as being my students, it's important for you to, you know, have a clear, very clear understanding between all three of them. All right. So without further ado, let's begin. So guys, I've made this uh, Microsoft Word document for all of you in which uh, I'm going to be explaining. So let me just check microphone. All right. It's working great. So in this, I'm going to be explaining you the difference between connectives and conjunctions, because a lot of students been asking me in the classroom that, sir, uh, what is the difference between connectives and conjunctions? Are they same or are they synonyms or not? Or if not, then what is the difference? We want to know about it. We want to know about the examples and everything. So inshallah, in this video, I'm really going to be discussing uh, the definitions, the basic definitions, the basic concepts, and also we're going to be looking at some examples for you as well. And uh, inshallah, I will be providing you some exercises as well that you can solve at your home. And uh, uh, for that instance, you can definitely email me your answers and then I can provide you the answers for that as well. All right. So, yep, uh, let's begin. So, guys, connectives and conjunctions. So the difference. Now, first, let's talk about the difference. All right. So let's you know first understand the basic definitions. All right. So it says that the connectives and conjunctions are both used to connect words, phrases or clauses. OK, connect words, phrases or clauses in a sentence, but they have slightly different meaning and uses. OK, what are what is it? Let's try to figure it out. A conjunction. OK, a conjunction is a specific type of a connective that connects two or more words, phrases, clauses of equal importance. OK, OK. So see, guys, uh, phrases and clauses we have. I, I remember we have discussed a lot in our bit trumps as well as in our classes in the final term. We have discussed that what exactly is a phrase, uh, what exactly is a clause, what are the different types of phrases, if you remember, you know, try to recall it. And also, what are the different types of clauses as well, if you cannot recall it, open your notebooks. And if not, then uh, you can watch my other videos, which I've already made on sentence structures, in which I'm explaining uh, the clauses. Uh, in clauses, we have two different types of clauses, like independent clause and dependent clause. And uh, speaking of the phrases, we have... Uh, a couple of different types of phrases like noun phrase, adverb phrase, adjective phrase, verb phrase. And, you know, we also have discussed about the different types as well. OK, so let's continue. I'm right here. So conjunction includes words like and or but nor and yet. For example, in a sentence, I like coffee and tea. It's connecting two different, let's say, a, a, a clause and a word together. OK, and uh, in the classroom, if you remember, we have also studied three different types of conjunctions, which inshallah I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be discussing in this document with you as well. Uh, in conjunctions, we have three different uh, types of conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions, fanboys, if you remember, fanboys. And then we have uh, uh, correlative conjunctions using the one in the, with the pair in the pairs like uh, uh, neither nor, either or, not only but also. And then we have subordinating conjunctions as well. So the subordinating conjunctions we haven't studied. I just gave you a little bit from the surface knowledge about it, but it's important that you should know about it as well. And we're gonna know we're gonna discuss about some of the subordinating conjunctions as well. Okay, so that's pretty much about the word conjunction. Let's get into the word connective. Okay, see before I start con connective, let me let me tell you this thing that. Conjunction and connective in many broader ways, uh, they, these two words are usually used together as well as synonyms as well. But my job here as your English teacher is to under to clarify the meanings of these two words uh, before you that you can, you know, understand. And if tomorrow even someone is asking you, you should be at a position to reply to that person uh, in a confident way rather than being confused and just giving maybe a incomplete or 
not a correct answer, okay? So let's start. Connectives, okay, I'm right here. Well, let me zoom that in for you guys. Okay, connectives, okay. Well, I'm gonna read this definition for you. So, connectives, on the other hand, are words or phrases that connect ideas or concepts. So, connects ideas and concepts. However, one can say me that, sir, um, in conjunctions, we also try to connect two different clauses, two different phrases. So those clauses and phrases are actually ideas or information or data that someone is giving us. All right, I do agree with you, but here it's only just, uh, but here specifically, we are discussing about the ideas and concepts, all right? So here it is, let us let me read from here furthermore. So they can be used to show a variety of relationships between ideas, such as cause and effect, cause and effect, contrast, similarity and addition for example for ex uh, some of the common connectives include because see when we are adding a because in a sentence so we are actually you know telling that person a reason for something okay a reason for something okay a cause and effect effect of something okay for example uh, uh, i didn't go to school yesterday because okay why you didn't went to school because I was not feeling well. See, I'm adding, I'm telling, I'm giving you a reason. I have to add idea. I have to add a concept with that. I have to add data with that, okay? So, and also therefore, you know, usually we use the word therefore when we have to actually, you know, speak about the results of something. And then the word however, moreover, in addition. Now, for example, here are a couple of examples for you. Uh, in the same sentence, in the same sentence, I didn't study for the test. I didn't study for the test. Here, here's an example for you to how to use a connective. Uh, I didn't study for the test. So I'm not expecting a good grade because I haven't studied. I'm not expect so I'm not expecting a good grade. Now, when we were studying the conjunctions, and in conjunctions, type one, coordinating conjunctions. So the last word was fanboys. It was so. So so is also a coordinating conjunction, right? But here, it's also used as a connective as well. Why? Because it's trying to connect two different ideas and concepts together. So let's say, in summary, I can say that we can use connectives and uh, conjunctions together, synonymously with each other, but there's a slightly difference, okay? There's a slightly difference in the definitions as well, okay? Let's read the further examples. Okay, so the connective so shows the cause and effect relationship between not studying and not expecting good grades because I haven't studied good and due to that, due to that, I'm not going to, I'm not expecting good grades. All right. It's showing a cause. It's showing, oh, sorry, it's showing an effect. Now, because I haven't studied, so effect, result of that is going to come up, end up in what? Not getting good grades. So it's kind of connecting two different uh, ideas together. So in summary, conjunctions connect words, phrases, or clauses of equal importance, while Connectives connect ideas or concepts to show various relationship between them. Very, very simple. So in summary, if I should conclude this video by saying this thing that conjunctions and connectives, we can interchangeably use these words in many, many contexts, okay? And the elements, elements means the words, the actual conjunctions, the actual connectives are moreover very, very much similar to each other, okay? So that's pretty much about it. Now, uh, in the next video, we're gonna discuss further about it so i just want to make sure that i want to make these videos as short as possible that you can understand so this was an introductory video to this topic but this is going to go on inshallah because yeah i've made a 10 page document for you all and inshallah i'm going to be giving you some exercises as well uh, related to that okay so yeah uh, see you in the next video